what up blockchain nation what up youtube thank you for taking the time to uh watch this video uh if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button so that you can get weekly notifications whatever release videos and for those who watch consistently i want to say big thank you thank you you're far too kind uh just very quickly these um what i say on this channel is 100 percent my personal opinion i don't represent any company or, or organization these are just my opinions based on my research and what i've done and uh in other words uh Try not to get me fired. <laughs> Anyways, on a real deal, but um, so what is blockchain technology? I've done a, a previous video on where I talk about uh, the three pillars of blockchain technology, and I ex actually titled it Explain Blockchain to Me Like I Was a Three Year Old. And um, today I also want to go a bit deeper into that. Um, so I watched this video and I'll put a link below that explains what blockchain technology is at its very core level. Um, like Bettina Warburg said, blockchain is a, really a decentralized ledger of assets and transactions across a peer-to-peer -peer network. Uh, the uh, transactions are made secure through cryptography. In simple English, a blockchain is just a chain of blocks. Pools, a pool of transactions are uh, put together, coupled together, and they are placed into a block. And then after that, you have another group of transactions placed into another block that added to the previous block, hence forming a chain. So that's really what the blockchain is. I'll put some couple of links below on some other resources that you can watch. But today at a very high level, I want to talk about blockchain technology from this video that I saw recently. And it's with a very, very good way of explaining. It's a very long video, it's a three hour long video, but I took some core concepts about it and I want to use that to explain what blockchain technology is. So if you're ready, say I'm ready. All right, so think of an iceberg right and um, there are different parts of it what you see on the surface and of course uh, it's what you see underneath is different from what's on top but I liken this to what blockchain technology is there's a core definition but there are different fields or different industries that will define it in a very different way so by definition I said blockchain technology is a decentralized database that stores a registry of assets and transactions across a peer-to-peer -peer network and this was a very good definition by Bettina Warburg but there are different concepts or there are different pillars of blockchain technology. And I just want to highlight these three, which is consensus, the fact that they are immutable and decentralized. Consensus just means that now because a blockchain network or is uh, decentralized, the question is how can we or how can everybody determine what the state of the network is and agree on what the state of the network is. And that's where the concept of consensus comes in. So consensus just means general agreement. So there are different consensus algorithms or there are different ways of coming into consensus for any blockchain network. There are different blockchain networks out there. There is Bitcoin, which is a very popular one. There's Ethereum, there's Cardano, there's NEO, and the list goes on and on. And they all have different ways of coming to consensus. So these are just a few uh, consensus algorithms that are very, very popular. Proof of work for Bitcoin and eventually for Ethereum. Probably by the time you're watching this video, it will be a proof of stake. And then we have delegated proof of stake as well. And then we have a hash graph, which is a different concept, which is not really a blockchain actually. It's more, it's a distributed ledger, but that will be a talk, talk for another day. Check out my video on hash graph. Second thing about blockchain is it's immutable, which means that it cannot be changed or altered, which means that once an entry goes into a blockchain, you cannot erase it. If you um, have a traditional centralized system and you write a record into a database, you can actually go there and remove it. But the great thing about the blockchain is it's transparent and modern, and also it's immutable, which means it can be altered. Well, I'll, I'll talk about transparency, but I just wanted to highlight just three. And lastly, it's decentralized. It means that it, so it moves away from a single um, center and you have um, other locations whereby you don't have a single source of failure, which is great thing about decentralized networks and that's what a blockchain network is. So different industries will define it differently. So for tech, so technologies, blockchain technology is the driving force behind the next generation of the internet. The internet will change different aspects of it. Someone said it's what the internet should have done, been. So the way we do social media, already there are blockchain applications out there 
that are, are more decentralized and they are changing the way we do tech. One is called DTube. DTube is kind of like YouTube, but a decentralized DTube. And we have Steam and we have Voice. As opposed to all these platforms where they get most of their money from advertising, these distributed uh, social media platforms allow you to be incentivized just by you sharing uh, a picture or post and the likes. Of course, we also have the innovators in tech. We have Hyperledger Fabric that has its own blockchain concept. We have Cardano, Alfie Cardano, and A16Z is a company that's invested highly or heavily in different blockchain companies like um, or cryptocurrency companies like um, Coinbase, which is a um, quite a, um, an exchange. Yeah, so that's what it, that's how the technology is to define the blockchain technology. So in banking and finance, to finance is a distributed ledger and a technology underlying the explosion of new digital currencies. One area where blockchain technology will be very, very powerful is in finance is in the area of remittances, which means basically people who live uh, in the Western world who want to send money overseas, back home. So remittance uh, is a 715 billion going to be industry in 2019. And in including US is about a 549 billion to developing nations. So that's what happened. That's that's what's available in this remittance industry. So companies like Western Union, like MoneyGram, are getting a huge piece of this pie. But with companies like Ripple and Abra, they uh, boast of being able to allow you to send funds overseas, crypto, at very very minimal fees, less much less than what these. Um, companies like Western Union are charging. So obviously finance is crypto. We have so many cryptocurrencies from Bitcoin to Ethereum to Ripple and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So that's what crypto is doing to finance or so blockchain technology allows you to build all these crypto assets on top of the platform that allow you to be a medium of exchange because they're divisible, they're fungible, they're a unit of accounts and arguably a store of value. To a software developer, it is a set of protocols and encryption technologies for securely storing data on a distributed network. You have these suite of tools, which is called Ganache and uh, Web3.js, which um, allows you to build applications on top of blockchain networks. A very popular one is Ethereum. Ethereum is a cool concept. It does what Bitcoin does in terms of it is allows you to have a decentralized network and have a currency called Ether that you can spend. But on top of that, you can also build applications on top of that using smart contracts. And also IPFS is also a cool idea that allows you to do decentralized sharing. So from a developer's perspective, this will probably be the piece that will interest you the most. And to other people, it's a tool for radically reshaping society and the economy, taking us into a more decentralized world. So in conclusion, Blockchain has become a term that captivates our imagination and fascinates many as the implications of this technology is truly profound. For those who believe in freedom, for those who believe in having a fair society where everybody can participate, where it's not just some centralized institutions that are taking a huge piece of the pie, uh, people who believe in allowing the middle man or the average person to have the opportunity to succeed, they have the opportunity to trade because there are different parts of the world where people um, can't do business the way you do business in the Western world because of the fact that they don't have a reliable currency or a payment system that will allow them to become global. Blockchain is a difference maker. So it's really cool. It's a really nice, noble concept. And uh, so different people have a way of defining blockchain, which it can be confusing because if you ask somebody who's a technologist, they might focus on one area. As somebody who's a software developer, they might focus on one area. As somebody who's into banking and finance, they might focus on one area. But blockchain technology is all of these things. It's not a um, one. It's not what's going to change the entire world from the perspective of solve every single problem. No, it's not. But definitely, it's going to change the way we do a lot of things. And here's the thing: how blockchain technology will change stuff is you won't even know. You won't look at a change or you won't look at an application and say, "Oh, this is definitely a blockchain application." You will not even know. You'll probably be doing your business the way you currently do your business, but you realize that as opposed to having a central authority, you realize that you can do interactions with your community, you can do interactions with people that you know, because the platforms on top of what your applications will be built on will be some, the layer underneath will be something that's based on some kind of distributed ledger or blockchain platform. And it's truly, truly a very exciting area. So uh, that's all I have. So till next time, I wish for you is that you learn more about blockchain technology because blockchain is changing and will change the world. 
and those who get involved early in my personal opinion will greatly impact the future and if that is you then let's go change the world